Welcome back to Cox Connections, a program that provides up-to-date information on events that affect you, our customers. Math and science can often be daunting subjects for younger students, but in the Portsmouth schools, all 4th, 5th, and 6th graders participate in an exciting, hands-on program that's helping them realize that science can indeed be fun. Here to tell us about Starbase Victory is Executive Director Bill Hayden, better known by the staff and his students as T-Ball. Welcome, Admiral Hayden. Nice to be here. So T-Ball was your call sign as a Navy fighter pilot. You use this name in the program because it frees the kids to be a little bit more engaged, right? You're absolutely right. In fact, the whole Starbase system uh, that we use, bringing the, kiss, uh, the kids to our Starbase facility, takes them out of their classroom. We give them a T-shirt uh, appropriate to the, their grade, and we give them a new call sign. They uh, which sign. provides them with the opportunity to be completely new and different and Starbase becomes very, very exciting for them. So what is the Starbase Victory Program? It's uh, really a partnership between Portsmouth Public Schools, the Starbase Victory Incorporated 501c3 and the community. Uh, the school system provides us with facilities and teachers. We provide the equipment and, uh, and paraphernalia for the kids, and hopefully the community provides us with the money to do that. Um, our whole goal and objective is to get kids interested in math and science. Uh, and we don't, we don't preach to them, we don't test them, we don't drill them, we give them things to do. They have fun and don't even realize that they're learning. So experiential learning. It's all experiential. Um, so tell me a little bit about, you've got sort of different curriculum for fourth graders, fifth graders, sixth graders, right? That's correct. Every child in Portsmouth goes through our program, in Portsmouth Public School System, goes through our program in the fourth grade called Space Base. They learn spatial awareness. They learn to measure distances. They learn the cardinal headings and, and teach them mapping. Uh, and ultimately, they learn how to navigate using a map and the global positioning system, GPS. I could probably use a, help, a little bit of help from some of those fourth <laughs> graders on my mapping skills. And the, the fifth graders? Fifth grade's called EnviroBase. We give them green t-shirts, seems appropriate, right? Uh, we teach them what constitutes weather. Uh, what are the various parameters of weather? What makes rain? And then we follow that rain as it erodes and potentially pollutes the Elizabeth River. Uh, in that process, we try to instill in them environmental stewardship, uh, and they learn all about oysters and how oysters actually help clean up the Elizabeth River. Oysters really are, are definitely uh, our friend in terms of uh, helping to mitigate pollution. Kids are fascinated by the oysters. And then sixth graders? Sixth grade is uh, an elementary physics program, we call it uh, aerobase. Uh, they learn the forces of flight, they learn uh, energy, and ultimately uh, they actually build and launch a rocket, which in many cases is a life-changing experience for the kids. Probably something that most of them have not ever done before. That's right. So uh, tell me a little bit more about the, the students and what they get out of this. Um, my goal in starting Starbase back in 2002 was to inoculate kids against the fear of math and science. They're tough courses, I admit it, I'm an engineer. Um, late high school and on into college, it can be really hard. But the fact is that math and science plays a very important part in all of our lives, and, and if you can bring kids in elementary school into a classroom environment um, and give them something fun to do. They want to learn and they don't care what the subject is. So I pick math and science, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And we give them fun things to do, critical thinking to solve problems. They learn also uh, to use teamwork to solve those problems. And we have some uh, career planning uh, objectives modules in there too. So uh, it really is fun. So for the kids. having so much fun, they probably don't even realize that they are learning. No, <laughs> you're right. It's wonderful to watch the smiles on their faces. And I know that you've got some um, exciting summer camp programs uh, that are getting underway as well. Um, uh, your camps are full for the summer, I'm presuming? They are. Uh, and the reason they are is 
because they're so much fun. The kids have a good time during the school year. Summer camps give us a lot of interesting opportunities to try new things. Um, we're obliged to have a, a definite curriculum hinged to the standards of learning, Virginia standards of learning, during the school year. But in the summer, hey, we're, we're free to go. And, and we give a the kids bit. a chance to go on field trips in the summer, which they find really fascinating. Is there a way that, that people can get involved? It sounds like a fabulous program in partnership with the schools and the community. But for our viewers who are watching, is there anything that they can do to help support Starbase Victory? Well, I'm always looking for money, but let's start with the simple stuff. They can follow us on Twitter. They can like us on Facebook. You can go to our website and find out what we're doing day to day and, and throughout the month. But yes, I'm, I'm always looking for money. It's uh, the bane of my existence trying to find that. So you can go up on the website uh, and, and uh, donate through PayPal. Um, we use uh, or we have a system through Amazon Smile that, uh, that everybody tends to buy stuff off of Amazon. And so Why not have a little bit of those exactly proceeds right. benefit so a great program. How to do that is on our website. Fantastic. And um, what is your website address? starbasevictory.org. So it sounds like you're doing a really terrific job in partnership with the schools, getting kids excited about learning science, engineering, and math. So thank you so much for everything that you're doing. This looks like a lot of fun. Come and see us. That's something else the crowd can do. Come and take a tour of Starbase. You'll be fascinated. Thank you so much, Admiral Hayden, for the work that you're doing to help our kids to learn and grow. Thank you for the chance to be here, Emma. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Cox Connections. As always, I want to personally thank you for choosing Cox Communications for your entertainment, information, and communication needs. We know you could have chosen another provider, but because you chose us, we pledge to be a friend you can trust. We promise to provide you with innovative products backed up by a talented local team of professionals that will help stretch your dollar. And we promise to continue to make a difference in the Hampton Roads community. From all your friends and neighbors here at Cox, we thank you again for joining us on this edition of Cox Connections.